In this video we will discuss the Apostle Philip. He was one of the twelve disciples of Jesus. His name, which in Greek is Philippos, signifies friend of horses. Philip was from the city of Bethsaida, a region of Galilee, a city where Andrew and Peter likewise resided. In the Gospel of John chapter 21, we can find a little sign that Philip likewise fished like his friends Peter, Andrew, James and John. There are relatively few details in the Bible about the Apostle Philip. As indicated by the narrations of the various Gospels, we can see that he was a guileless man with a shy character, with a prudent psyche. In the Gospel of John a few events are perceived in which Philip addressed the Lord. Philip was present among individuals surrounding John the Baptist before he highlighted Jesus as the Messiah. The following day, Jesus was intending to leave for the city of Galilee when he met Philip. Eventually, the Lord called him to follow him, Philip followed him and became one of Jesus' disciples. Philip, after the call of the Lord Jesus to follow him, meets Nathanael and lets him know that they have found the one about whom Moses and the prophets had written. Philip lets him know that it was, Jesus, son of Joseph of Nazareth. Nathanael after hearing this, ironically answers, Can something good come out of Nazareth? Confronted with this reaction, Philip answers, Come and see. Philip saw different miracles performed by the Lord, including the first, when they were at the wedding in Cana, where the Lord Jesus transformed water into wine. That's what the word says, from that second, his disciples believed in him. In the Gospel of John, three occasions concerning Philip that happened during the public existence of the Messiah are recorded. The first occasion is not long before the miraculous feeding of the multitude, Christ addresses to Philip with the question, how are we going to buy bread for these to eat? Obviously, the Lord was only testing him. Philip answers his inquiry by telling him, 200 denarii of bread is not enough for each one to take a little. The subsequent event was the point at which a few pagans went to Philip communicating their longing to see Jesus. Philip revealed this fact to Andrew and later, both carry the news to the Savior. The third time and last occasion, was after the Lord addressed his apostles about knowing and seeing the Father. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and that is enough for us, to which Jesus answered, He who has seen me has seen the Father. Before continuing, we would like to invite you to visit our official page, Origins 88. You can find the link in the description of this video or search for us directly in your browser. There you will find a large number of biblical and historical studies related to the Bible. We continue with the video. As per the book of Acts, he was present in the upper room after the ascension of Christ, where every one of the apostles gathered waiting for the arrival of the Holy Spirit. Philip committed himself to preaching in the regions of Phrygia, as of now Turkey, and Scythia, presently Moldova, Ukraine, Hungary, and Eastern Russia. Philip died in Hierapolis. He was crucified upside down, because similar to Peter, he also did not consider himself worthy to be crucified like the Lord. After his crucifixion he was stoned. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law, and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. John 1 verses 45-46 